August 26th of last year. My son was playing drums and he, unbeknownst to us what was going on, got him to the hospital after he fell on the floor and was taken out. He had um, an aneurysm in the aorta. Wow. So to make a long story short, he was taken to one hospital and transferred from there that night to Good Samaritan, where the first doctor that looked at him said, there ain't nothing we can do. I think most of you know my son, the pastor. He just called me and said, get to Good Samaritan Hospital now. No explanation. My daughter and I went, and when we got there, they had already prepped him for surgery. And I'm really wild about that time. What kind of surgery is he having, and why is he having surgery in the first place? Well, they had to amputate a leg. Mm, wow. Because the one doctor that said that was nothing they could do, another one came into the family and said, if you believe, we can pray. Wow. <laughs> that was the first sign that God was in the room. Yes. I want you to look out and walk up to your bedside and say, let's pray. All right. said, let's hold hands and let's pray. And he led us in prayer. Wow. Well, it gave me a little bit of strength, but I don't know about you as a mama. I had strength on one hand. But it was my child that they were about to take his leg. Yes. And then after taking the leg the first time, it didn't the blood still didn't want to flow right. So things were happening still in his body. And he had tubes where you didn't think tubes could even go. So they had to take some more. But one doctor came in even then. This is not awkward. Yes. He said, well, as a surgeon, we got it below the knee. He says, but this time I think we're going to do the whole thing. Wow. And I'm like, but he won't be able to walk then. He said, that's the best that I can do. And I don't know what happened, and I do now, but then I didn't know what happened, but another one came in, surgeon, and happened to be a surgeon that was the one that doctored on my granddaughter before she passed away. And he said, I do things differently. I know what you've been told, but I believe that there is some good tissue. Not that far up. He said, I, I, I just want to take a little bit off. And so at this point, I, I don't have much voice at that time. Y'all asked me, was I singing? No, I didn't think to sing. I couldn't think of a song to sing at that time. But what he did was, he looked at my pastor's son, and he said, do what you have to do. So he went back in, and he took about that much more off, and he found good tissue. you to know that he's out of the hospital. He was there for four months on his wow. back. Finally got up that last month and did therapy and he was able to come home. And he's been home ever since. He got his new wheelchair, which I call him his BMW. I know that's right. And every Sunday, 
John DeMoyne, if you come to 950's Pecan, he's in the music department playing the bongo. Does my heart